Now, in these examples here, the thing that I have passed into the type function is, uh, have, is three different literals. But um, I can also pass in um, variables as well. So if we go back up to, the, to earlier on this Jupyter Notebook to see where I uh, assigned values to character name, input voltage, and matched up at the top. So here we see character name, I passed in a string. Input voltage, I passed in a number. And matched, I passed, passed in a Boolean. Now, you might be asking yourself, um, like, how do I know that the Jupyter Notebook is still going to remember what those things are? Well, as long as I have kept this Jupyter note Notebook running, the values of these three variables here will remain in the environment. Remember when we talked about environment? It's, it's basically the uh, part of the, uh, of the application's memory where it remembers what different variable values are. So even though uh, I did not define what these things were in this cell, when I define them in a different cell, those uh, values uh, remain in the environment. So I can ask what they are uh, without restating what they should be. So let's go ahead and run this cell. And I can see what I expected. Character name, which was Wilma, is a string. And uh, input voltage is a floating point number because it had a decimal point in it. And then matched uh, is a Boolean. So this is like generally the behavior that's true in Jupyter Notebooks. If we run a cell, when that cell is run, it changes the state of the environment. So this is like a really important thing to remember because let's say you, um, you, you get to this part in the lesson, you have to stop and then you come back. So you close down the notebook, you come back another day and you come to this cell. If you run this cell, it's gonna give you an error because it's not going to know what the values are um, because once you shut down the notebook and restart it, it's not going to have the values of those variables in the environment. And the same thing is true if you jump around uh, and do the cells in different orders. So, um, so far we have been treating these cells as if they're like independent programs, but they're actually not. Anything that we have defined in, in, in a cell that we've already run is going to remain in the uh, the notebooks environment. And so uh, we just have to keep that in mind that, you know, if, if I um, set the value of these three variables and then I run a cell that changes one of them, it's not going to be what it was before. It'll be whatever the most recent value was of that variable.